Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given cubic equation. As you can see over here, and here's our cubic equation, 3x power 3 minus 5x square divided by 7 minus 6x divided by 7 equal to 0. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. We can see we got these fractions. So let's go ahead and remove these fractions. And we can see in the denominator we got these numbers 7. So let's go ahead and multiply these terms by 7 across the board. I'm going to multiply this term by 7, this by 7, this by 7, and this by 7 across the board. And we can see that we got this 7 times 3 is going to give us 21x power 3. This 7 and 7, this is gone. So we ended up with the negative 5x square and there once again this 7 and 7 cancels out so we ended up with negative 6x equals to on the right hand side 0 times 7 is simply 0 so thus we can see we no longer have a fraction and here's our next step we can see that we have a x in common among these all these terms so therefore we can factor x outside in the parentheses we ended up with 21 x square minus 5 x minus 6 equal to 0 and now we got these two factors equal to 0 I can simply separate them I can split them so x has got to be 0 or the other this whole factor which is 21 x square minus 5 x minus 6 equal to 0 over here so one of our solution x value turns out to be x equal to 0 and now let's focus on this other equation as we can see this one is a quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by factoring technique and here I have just copied down this quadratic equation over here and I am going to show you a really easy way to factor this one by using this no fuss factoring method and here's the very first thing we are going to do let me just go ahead and put down these two parentheses that is the very first thing we are going to do and let's focus on this part only don't worry about this exponent only this 21x I am going to write down 21x right up here and 21x right up here as well and here's our next step let's go ahead and multiply these two end numbers this number and this number let's create a rainbow over here we multiply these two numbers 21 times negative 6 let me just go ahead and write down 21 times negative 6 and this middle number the one this one negative 5 which is the coefficient of x I am going to write down at the bottom of this x factor and now let's focus on these numbers 21 times negative 6 let me just write down 21 and then times 6 don't worry about this negative sign 21 could be written as 7 times 3 isn't it let's factor it out and 6 could be written as 3 times 2 isn't it now we can write this one as you can see 7 times 2 is going to give us 14 and 3 times 3 is going to give us 9 and we can see that the difference between these 14 and 9 is going to give us 5 so that means 14 and 9 are our factors that we need so therefore I'm going to write down these factors 14 and 9 right over here 14 and 9 now we have to just 
fix the sign since this uh, negative 5 has a negative sign so that means this 14 has got to be negative and this 9 has got to be positive so thus our factor turns out to be negative 14 and positive 9 I am going to write down this negative 14 in the first parentheses and positive 9 in the second parentheses and now let's focus on this very first parentheses we got these numbers 21 and 14 we know that 7 is in common so I am going to divide both side by 7 and in the second parentheses between these 21 and 9 we can see that 3 is in common so I am going to divide by 3 over here so the first parenthesis is going to give us simply 21 divided by 7 is going to give us 3x minus 2 times on this one second parenthesis becomes 7x plus 3 and as we can see in these parentheses we no longer have anything in common so set this one equal to zero now let's go ahead and solve for x so this i'm going to separate split them so this is going to be 3x minus 2 equal to zero and the other one is going to be 7x plus 3 equal to zero so that means this is going to give us x equal to two third that's one of our solutions and this is going to give us x equal to negative 3 seventh this is our another solution so thus we got our three solutions first one was x equal to 0 and here are two more x equal to 2 third and the other one is x equal to negative 3 seventh and thus here are our three solutions as you can see over here and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.